YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course you got one more time, Deirdre Ellings Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell your family. Hopefully everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here on this channel. Positive vibes only, all right? So I'm excited today, man. I'm excited about this video to bring you guys something new. Um, I've never heard of this brand. I've never, un un well, I know about them now, but I had never heard of this brand or anything that they have going on. And I am truly impressed. Very, very much so impressed. So the clone world, um, it is alive and well. I mean, you have several Middle Easterns from your Paris Corners, your Armoffs, your Latafas. Um, you have your independent brands like uh, Alexandra Fragrances and, and Dua and things like that. But there's a new, very, very, very good brand out there that produces some fantastic clones for a really, really great price. Some of the best prices that I had ever have ever seen thus far with me uh, in the fragrance world and producing content here on, on YouTube, all right? So I gotta give a big, big, big shout out to Zoa Aroma, all right? This is a company based out of Toronto, Canada, I believe, and they reached out to me uh, a little while ago and you know they expressed their uh, sentiments about the channel and I asked if they sent over a package and test out their product. I said, absolutely. And also to ensure that I was gonna be completely honest and just kinda, you know, not kinda tell the truth and let my audience know, hey, this is what it is. Got the package in and guys, I would know, I was gonna do a live stream about this, but I wanna do a dedicated video after experiencing the product. So today we have five fragrances that they sent me. Five fragrances that they sent me. We're gonna go by one by one. Um, I've tested them all, I've smelled them. I've been able to build uh, some memory about what the fragrances are all about, quality and so forth and so on, all right? So they were very nice enough to send me this letter, uh, you know, with hello Dedrick, hope this, notes, this note finds you well, but I wanna keep what they told me. Um, in this letter to me, but they expressed, um, you know, being out of Toronto, Canada, found it back in 2015 and, you know, so forth and so on. But really nice letter. I had never, you know, well, Zaharoff, I've gotten that, you know, with your name on the, uh, uh, on the packaging, not the packaging, but the uh, flyer with the Zaharoff fragrances on them. So it was really nice to see my name on, <laughs> on something like that. So we're going to go one by one and talk about these fragrances. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now the packaging comes in these beautiful, um, I guess they're like a suede type of uh, packaging. They come in these bags, these suede packaging bags, really, really nice uh, quality here. So the fragrances don't come in boxes, they come in these bags. So um, very nice touch. And these are the ones, there's a gray one. Um, there's two off-white ones that they sent, and then I have this kind of, um, uh, not olive green, but uh, some type of green <laughs> type of colorway here. Really, really nice. So let's go ahead and get into the fragrances, because I know that's what y'all want to know about, so let's jump into the first one. Now, the first one they sent me is a clone of Creed Aventus Cologne. Hello, one of the most popular fragrances that is discussed out here in Fracom. And let's take a look at this bottle, the sprayer, and everything else from the house of Zoa or Aroma. We have Napoleon Cologne. Now look at this, I know it's clashing with my studio light, but very nice bottle, love the shape, love the top. Comes off and the bottle has the black atomizer. Let me get that in focus. Let's check out the sprayer here. Really good, look at that. Really good sprayer, man, really good. And man, I was really, this is the first one that I smelled and honestly, this might be my favorite out of the five, but you get a nice, nice interpretation of Creed Aventus Cologne, but there's a little bit more of a minty touch to this that I like. You still get some citruses that really open up this thing, but there's this little minty burst of mintiness that is accompanying their version. So these are inspired by with a twist, and I like those because it gets you away from a uh, 1A, 1B type of scenario with the clone, but this one is really, really, really good for sure. I wanna get this on the tester. I would spray it on skin, but I'm testing things, but get this back on the tester. Beautiful atomizer once again. For the summertime, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna really see what this one is all about. 
so nice man so let's get into the notes man they sent all the notes and everything let's see what we got going on uh we have napoleon cologne which is inspired by creed aventus cologne all right so we have a uh bergamot ginger neroli black pepper patchouli and orange uh type of vibe that is in this fragrance for sure and if you know anything about the creed aventus cologne you take the pineapple out and you put the orange in all right but this minty type of vibe that this has it's really really good y'all so it's not an exact again it's not an exact version all right so i love the spin of how fresh and how clean the citrus is that minty touch it's sparkling um just really really great fragrance they did a really good job and, and i <laughs> can't stress it enough now i don't have any affiliate links with this brand or anything they just wanted me to send they just want to send their product over and me test it out that's all that this is so anybody out there oh he's mm -mm, be quiet <laughs> be quiet i really like this this is definitely going to be aware and i definitely still have interest in getting me a full bottle of creative Ventures cologne but even when i get it i'm still going to wear this because it has a little bit different offering than what the creative Ventures cologne has all right so again from the house of zoa aroma we have napoleon cologne great stuff great stuff i'm telling you i'm really excited to talk about this brand man because Brands who get it right and brands who have quality, it's it's fantastic, fantastic. All right, up next, let's see. Uh, here we go. Let's do this one, which is good. From the House of Zola Aroma, once again, we have Spiced Bourbon. Spiced Bourbon. Here we go. Now, this is a inspired by fragrance from Nisha Ney's Ani. E, all right, Ani. E, all right, so... Smells so good. Just smells just like Ani in the air. So again, the sprayer in the air. And right away, you get this warm vanilla. You get this like cinnamon oriental type spice just in the air. It is so good. They did a really good job with their version of Ani. Now there are some differences in Ani compared to this one. So get this on a tester strip. And it's, it smells like honey. Very warm, rich, almost a boozy feel. In the opening area, it's like this citrusy type of sparkle up top. Very creamy. A nice spice, warm spiciness. Man, I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. And not, and not to say that I was expecting like lesser of, no, not at all. But when you get an independent house and they you know make these clones and put their own spin on it man it's really impressive how they really get close to the fragrance especially when you're talking quality man now the notes are on the side of the bottles as well just like over here so i should have read them off of here so um the creative i'll go back to the creative ventus cologne because i think the paper says something a little different but on this bottle notes we have bergamot ginger cardamom yes vanilla card i said yes because i love cardamom cardamom vanilla benzoin sandalwood and musk all right so that's what you get with spice bourbon um all of these are edible perfum concentrations but they're really good it doesn't smell like a cheap clone like you get this big alcoholic trust me y'all look into the house of zoa aroma especially if you're trying to the prices are nuts man i think they run these around 35 to 40 bucks. They all come in, uh, the biggest is a 55 in mail. Then they go down to like a 30 and like a 10. And I believe they have samples as well. But yes, this is a really good version of Nishane on E. Again, Spice Bourbon from Zola Aroma. I like that. I know it's classy with my studio light due to the glass and the white labeling. All right. And last but not least, man, they crush this one for sure. For sure. Man, so good. Let's get that in the air. So from the house of Zora Aroma, we have Token. We have Token. Now this is their version of Side Effect, all right, from uh, Initio Parfums. And right away, I get this plum and this oriental spice that just come roaring out this bottle, man. This stuff has a richness, has a nice base to it, just like 
um, Spice Bourbon. Like these are cheap versions of these original DNAs. They are not, guys. You like Alexandra fragrances quality? You like dual fragrances quality? Now, those are extraits. These are EDPs. Well, I'm talking about the quality. If you like those qualities and you appreciate them, then these, I'm so surprised. <laughs> I'm just so surprised how good they are. So let's look into some of the notes. Feel this, all right? We got tobacco, vanilla, rum, coffee, cinnamon, and leather and leather and as this dries down i get this plummy this plummy rum now plum is not listed on here but this plummy rum that dries down to this oriental sweet leather that's what i get and i've tested these fragrances for the last few days but i'm telling y'all if you love side effect and don't get me wrong all of the fragrances that these are cloning the originals are a bit better in quality Yes, but this is not that far off. You're a fan of Latafa, you're a fan of Paris Corner, Alexandra, like, I'm talking about some of the better versions of their clones. They're good. They are good. Now, the heavier and warmer fragrances that I got, which is the Ani clone and the Side Effect clone, they really stand up strong, all right? They stand up strong in your face, project very, very well in the opening. The dry downs on all these fragrances are very complimentary um, and just blend it very, very nicely. Now, now I'm wondering, and time will tell, just like all of the other clones that I've gotten, when these sit, they get better. And I'm very curious to you know see if the Zoa Aroma fragrances, as they sit, do they get better? My Alexandra fragrances do, my Latafas, my Paris Corners, they all have gotten better over time. And Tolkien is a really, really, really good fragrance. If you are into side effect and you only wanna buy it one time <laughs> and you want something to hold you down uh, for a really good price, 55 ml for around 35, 40 bucks, man, look into it. Really, really good token from Zoa Aroma. All right, we have two left to talk about. They sent these to me. I believe these are 30 mLs. I think so, don't call me, but I think they're 30 mLs. So they sent me um, a 30 ml of Lagoon Story. This is inspired by of Louis Vuitton's Imagination, which I'm a huge fan of that DNA. So let's go ahead and get that on skin, not on skin, excuse me, on a tester strip, because I don't have any room on skin because I'm testing stuff, so. Two sprays on that. When I first got this, and I put it on skin, I was walking around the house. My wife didn't know what it was. She had no idea what I was doing in the office. And right away she said, oh, that smells good. What, what are you playing with in there? What are you spraying with? What are you spraying? So I told her, and she was like, wow, that smells good. And that's just, she don't know nothing about Zoa Aroma yet. But that was her comment as I walked out of the room uh, wandering through the house. And this is close to imagination, man. This is close. Citruses, ginger. But this is smooth. This is smooth. It's, it's a much lighter. It's a little, it's even a little lighter than the original imagination. But in the high heat, this definitely has to have the potential to pop off skin when it gets uh, warmed up, so to speak, from the, the sun and the heat that you're dealing with. But very pleasant, fresh, clean, a little spice to it. It's almost like a, um, like a tea note vibe that I'm getting from this as well. So good, now these come alive much more on skin than they do paper. And again, I can't sample anything else on my skin because I'm testing stuff right now. But um, I've tested these on skin and they definitely come a lot uh, more alive on skin. Let's go over some of the notes for Lagoon Sori, which is a clone of Louis Vuitton's Imagination. So notes are bergamot, orange, citron, neroli, black tea, ginger, and ambergris. So that's what you have here. Summertime in a bottle for sure. This is really good stuff. Now I believe a 30 ml, I think this is a 30 ml. Yeah, I think a 30 ml is around, I think $25, $30, somewhere in that range. But um, it's really, really good stuff. They did a good job really matching the vibe of what Louis Vuitton Imagination has to offer. All right. And last but not least, and there's a reason why this is last, because this took me on a ride. Now this is one of their original 
They call it original concoction. That's what they call it on the bottle. I believe we have Majalis. Majalis. So another 30 ml Majalis. And listen, this is incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Now, hear me out. I'm a fan of darker scents, heavier scents. I like ouds, I like leathers, I like cacao. I like spicy and sweet. I'm not a spicy sweet guy. I'm a spicy then sweet. But when you start dealing with the ouds and the leathers and stuff like that, pretty good stuff. But this does remind me of something as the journey goes on. All right, so let's go ahead and get this on the strip. Again, these are much better fitted when you test them on your skin. But again, the atomizers on these are really, really good, as you can see. And here we go. Man, just in the air, I get this cacao, like leather, spice type of vibe, man. The cacao was meeting this leathery, woodsy uh, presentation and like an oriental spice, man. The quality just really is impressive again, y'all. Listen, this is legit. Test out and head to the house of Zoro Aroma, man. Oh man, it's so nice, man. So the notes on this, vanilla, coffee, cacao, tonka bean, honey, amber, and argo wood. Now, why do I get like a leathery type of vibe? Argo wood can sometimes come off, at least to my nose, like an oody uh, type of vibe. But this is something that's not stank or unbearable. It's nothing like that. It's very present, like an argan wood. It kind of gives off an oody type of feel, which kind of gives off a, a little leathery feel as well. But mixed in with the cacao, the coffee, the honey, the vanilla, man, it's impressive. This is really good stuff, man. It's really good. And I am a fan. This is perfect. It sucks that the, well, it doesn't suck because I'm ready for a little warm weather, but the cooler weather, the cold weather is ushering its way out. But I will wear this before it goes away to test it out in the world, in the field, and see what I really can get. And this was the most probably long lasting of the four. This literally stayed on my skin for a long time, like hours, and it was still wafting. I sprayed the spray right here, and it was still wafting off, my, wafting off my skin for quite some time. I'm talking like six, seven, eight hours, just moving around the house, I had to run to the store. So I guess I did sample it a little bit in the world, but it was just kind of coming off my arm at a really good pace for sure. I'm not a gourmand guy, but I do appreciate more of a woodsy, leathery, oody, spicy presentation when adding in cacao, vanilla, and things like that. But Majalis, really, really good stuff. They crushed this one, great quality. You can see the juice, that dark brown juice. And like I said, I believe as these sit, they get better, they get bolder, they get more entwined to what they got going on. So there you have it, y'all. A clone house, independent house that has some clones, and they also have their original concoctions, as they say. The house of Zoa Aroma out of Toronto, Canada is legit. Currently, I do not have an affiliate link. I will reach out to them to see if I can provide something for the Smell Good family and uh, see what we uh, can do. This won't be the last time you hear me talking about Zoa Aroma. I'm really impressed, and I'm eager to see if any one of you have tried it out or you're interested in seeing what's going on. They do have samples and smaller uh, uh, versions of uh, these 55 in mils, but they don't cost a lot. They don't cost a lot, literally bang for your buck for really, really, really good quality. Really good good, good quality, especially for what you pay uh, and what you get, bang for your buck for sure. So again, thank you, Zoa Aroma. Thank you for sending uh, that over uh, the co -found, the founders of uh, um, the company, uh, Sammy and Nafi Zoa. Thank you guys so, so, so much. You'll be hearing from me soon. This is uh this is good work. You guys got an excellent product over there, and I'm encouraging the Smuggler family just to check y'all out and see what they think. All right, so until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. I appreciate y'all, man. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know who we rock for sure on this channel. And as always, baby, as always, remember what you put out into this world is exactly what you're going to get back. Spike it up, spike it down, spike it that thing all around. 
Don't sleep, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Look in this old aroma. Good stuff.